Hi, my name is Al Gettler and I'm your host for Lead or Be Led. We have been going on a journey here of personal branding and it's getting really personal because the personal branding has become about me. Having a strong personal brand for a leader is important. If you're going to be a leader of people, if you're going to be a leader in industry, if you're going to be a leader in a nonprofit organization, if you're going to be a leader in technology, in social media, it's important that you have a strong personal brand. We have asked someone to help us with this series. He's a friend of the show. He's been on several times. I'm going to welcome Hugo Morum to the show. Hugo, welcome back to the show. Hello, Al. Well, you know, again, as I mentioned, I have become the issue here with personal branding. But this week, you're going to take us through something a little bit different and tell us how you're going to help me arrive at a stronger personal brand. So I'm going to hand it over to you. Uh, we're here in week two, and we're going to bring up some slides and have you talk us through week two of personal branding. Absolutely. Um, so one method that, uh, that we uh, choose to go by here at Brand Pendulum is the, uh, the mood board um, method. And uh, this method is basically a collection of graphical elements that sets the tone for your brand. It's not a representation of the final design, but rather a direction of, of how it's going to evolve. Um, so what you're going to see here is a couple of different ideas uh, that will give you a general sense of what a brand should look like, and uh, and and that will uh, kind of bridge the gap between uh, expectations and and the end result. Okay, we'll go to the next slide. I'd like to uh, to to bring in a uh, a little fun thing that I do. It's called the word game bucket. You know, to associate Al Gettler with you know leadership. I also thought it would be nice to what does it mean to be a leader? Uh, to to ask this question. There could be some ideas or something that we can grasp out of out of the the words of of what what it means to be a leadership. So uh, in essence, this is kind of like some brainstorming, putting some it, word association with uh, whoever it is you're branding. Correct. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next slide. So uh, nothing is ever created in a vacuum, and uh, creative is in, inspired and built upon of which came before. So uh, this is a quote. I, don't know who who wrote this quote, but I, I I I vaguely remember in my head. The idea here is that you know uh, a a personal brand and uh, uh, getting inspiration for a personal brand shouldn't shouldn't always come from a vacuum. It, sh it should be built upon things that are uh, already there and uh, and uh, to kind of. Uh, make it unique and different on its own. So as we've said before, and as it even says in your background, telling a story, if you let the story tell itself by way of words, you're going to come closer into arriving at the brand. So let's look at your next slide. So this is a uh, mood bucket number one. And, and uh, this mood bucket, I chose to focus on, on the infographic look. And uh, so the idea here would be for a brand that has an infographic look. Infographic meaning it, it, it has vector graphics and uh, it explains information as it, as it goes through uh, the, the look of the brand. So uh, if you can go to the next slide. Um, so for example, you got some stuff here from LeaderCast. This is how you know, an informational infographic brand could be represented. This kind of shows how maybe you can use some kind of data or some kind of information, or maybe that's just a background kind of thing going on that, that's just going to add an element to your brand. This is a kind of a segment that kind of looks like a, a blueprint. So um, I thought this was kind of neat because it, it, it can kind of convey the blueprint of leadership. And this is just how the, this next slide is just how uh, information can be kind of represented and breaking down and, and how it could look kind of um, fairly cool and interesting to kind of grab attention. So I'm seeing that in, in all of this, color seems pretty important. I mean, every, every one of those slides you just showed, there seemed to be purposeful use of color. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah that's, that's interesting. Okay, let's go to the next slide. So the second slide... Um, I chose to kind of focus on the leader portrait. This is the kind of solution that we would kind of maybe look for a photographer, take a couple pictures of you, Al Gettler, uh, as, you know, either on a group or by yourself, and really kind of um, an upscale kind of shot. Maybe it's black and white, as you see on the next slide. Really kind of emphasizing the leadership uh, um, and it, just the look of leadership and uh, being uh, triumphant or, or just having that kind of pose as a leader. 
If we can go back one slide, Lou, um, I saw it flash on the screen. I mean, there's a leader that, that a lot of people who study leadership know, Jack Welsh. Um, Absolutely. Who in and of himself is just a gigantic brand and means all kinds of things when it comes to leadership products. And he started a new school. But, boy, that's when you know your brand is strong, right? When you can have an iconic shot like that and, and you know who it is. So, uh, Lou, let's skip ahead two slides and, and Hugo, keep taking us through it. Uh, so bucket number three, uh, it was the idea of having something be minimal, but have but ha minimalism sometimes can be strong and it can be intact. Uh, so yeah, same thing to do with leadership, you know. So it kind of balances out with the idea of a leadership that it, uh, a leadership. There's some simplicity in there, but it, you know he's strong and he's resolute. Um, so. Here's here's a couple uh, you know a couple images of of how you know simple typography, simple color can really kind of be bold and and be very powerful. Yeah, I mean, looking at this slide right here, I mean, I can see right on that T-shirt, um, you know, simple lines, but yet if I saw someone walking down the sidewalk wearing that T-shirt. That would have impact on me. I'd stop and look, and I'd try to figure out what that T-shirt represents. So I, I get what you mean uh, when it comes to simple but impactful. Very, very cool. So um, yes, and and similar to 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 this kind of shot where you know it's just simple typography, simple textures, but it it really has an impact because the color is speaking here, and it's you know it's green and gray. And it really conveys kind of energy, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see what you mean by that. It sets a certain mood, certain term, a certain certain tone. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so mood bucket number four. This idea was more about being bold and strong, but really standing out and, and being bold and strong. So, um, so I have a brand that has you know big typography and and really has bold colors and bold messages and this is where you know bringing in a copywriter or somebody who who could be impactful in such a way where you know you can say certain words and have them mean something and be really big and bold and and just be exciting for example don't talk to robots the kind of copywriting that that could kind of play a role here it would would be really impactful. Everything you need to know about design is on the web. Well, you know, yeah, that like kind of, that's a message in and of itself, right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So and so using typography in a very bold fashion, and uh, just being very very strong and resolute about it, kind of you know talks about leadership in general. So again, through all these slides, and if we can even go to the next slide, yep. we're, we're seeing uh, we're seeing more and more of how. Colors are used, uh, you know, right there with the color of the type and the color of the gum. It draws your eyes immediately. And so mood boards establish ideas and expectations. So uh, brings us closer to the prize. What's the prize, you guys? The prize is uh, having a brand that uh, tells your story and uh, really makes you stand out in the crowd. Um, being able to, uh, to, to say who you are and what you do and why you do it and, and have meaning behind it really makes you, makes you uh, uh, stand far apart from everyone else. So branding, in essence, is, is really uh, differentiation. Um, what we're learning in this, this uh, particular episode is that color and words play a, a really important role in how you brand yourself. And I mean, when we think of, of red with a white lettering, uh, we think of Coca-Cola. If we think of, uh, you know, white with, with blue and red, we think of Pepsi. Uh, those are iconic things that just uh, color plays a, a very important role in. So I, I get your point. So I think what you're telling me that as you brand me, uh, I'm probably gonna see color and words become, become pretty important in all this. Absolutely. Um, those are the core foundation of, of, of a, a brand that, uh, that uh, hopefully is going to stand out. That's great. Well, let's remind people where they can get a hold of Hugo by putting his slide up here with his contact information. Um, Hugo is the principal of Brand Pendulum. Uh, on the screen, you can see his email, his phone number, his website. Give him a call and I'm sure he can help you out with your brand as well. With that, Hugo, uh, as always, I'm going to thank you for being a guest on Leader Be Led. I'm excited about the next three shows to see where they take my brand. And then we're going to get some feedback from the viewers and see what they think about the brand you've created for me. So this ought to be a very fun process, and I'm looking forward to it.
Awesome. All Great. right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, folks, with that, we are going to wrap up another episode of Leader Be Led. Now, branding, personal branding, stay with us for the journey. This is so important. A brand is not just a logo. A brand is not just going to uh, a simple website, paying 99 bucks and having a logo done and calling out your brand. It's much, much more than that. You're going to learn more about, it, about that as these episodes go by. I want to remind you to please share the show with your friends. Go ahead and email it, tweet it, uh, put it on your Facebook page. Uh, Tumblr, whatever you, you can do to help us spread the word about Leader Be Led, we certainly appreciate that. And if you have suggestions for future guests, please email leaderbeled at algetler.com and we'll do our very best to cover those topics and bring those guests on board. So with that, let me wrap up another episode of Leader Be Led. Thanks for joining us.